Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video demonstrates setting up a storm forward network with SD products. SD allows for storm forward operation but only in packet with Mac mode. An SD storm forward device will receive message requests from an access point radio and store them and then forward the request down to remote radios when the channel is available. In the reverse, the storm forward unit will receive replies from the remote units and store them, then forward the responses to the AP when the channel is available. To configure an SD unit for storm forward operation, begin with the network's access point radio. Open a web browser to the access point radio. Navigate to the device settings window by selecting configuration, then radio. Change the radio mode to packet with Mac, select commit configuration. Scroll down to the media access control window. Set the device type to access point. Tell the access point there is a storm forward radio present in the system. You do this by setting the storm forward network parameter to true. Review your choices and select commit configuration. Scroll back to the top of the web page and note the access point radio's frequencies. Open a web browser to the desired storm forward unit. Navigate to the basic settings window by selecting configuration then radio. Change the radio's frequencies to be opposite those of the access point radio. For example, TX of the access point equals RX of the storm forward device and RX of the access point equals TX of the storm forward device. Scroll down to the device settings window. Change the radio mode to packet with Mac. Select commit configuration. Scroll down to the media access control window. Set the device type as storm forward. Review your choices and select commit configuration. Open a web browser to the remote radio. Navigate to the basic settings window by selecting configuration, then radio. Set the remote radio's frequency to match those of the access point radio. For example, TX of the access point radio equals TX of the remote radio, and RX of the access point radio equals RX of the remote radio. Scroll down to the device settings window. Change the radio mode to packet with Mac. Select commit configuration. Scroll down to the media access control window. Change the device type to remote. Review your choices and select commit configuration. Note, proper RF installation and antenna separation is required in field installations. Now that all the radios are configured, I will begin polling from the access point radio through the storm forward device to the remote radio. The storm forward device is receiving and resending requests to and from the access point and remote radios. This is proven by the fact that the remote is on the same TX and RX frequency as the access point radio, meaning they could never communicate directly in this current configuration unless the network is operating in simplex mode where TX equals RX. Stand by for a brief pictorial example of a storm forward system field installation and the benefits of using a storm forward device. The storm forward feature can be used to link outlying remotes to an AP when direct communication is not possible due to terrain, distance, or other obstructions. Only storm forward traffic is sent through the storm forward unit, conserving critical bandwidth in the network. Storm forward operation extends a wireless network's coverage area by electing a device or devices to store data and forward it to a unit or units beyond the reach of the primary coverage area. Storm forward designated units act as smart single radio packet repeaters. The storm forward feature provides a simple, low cost alternative to range extension when a traditional repeater isn't desired. This example depicts a typical single unit storm forward network. This network supports a single storm forward hop. More detailed information is available in the SD product manual.